Is your kid's bookshelf always a mess? Hard to keep tidy and clean? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how I built these ledges that serve as bookshelves. I'm sorry, Pottery Barn, but they currently sell them for $89 a piece. Stay tuned, and you'll be shocked at how simple and inexpensive these are to make. Hey there, Christy here, welcome. Here I'm saving money by building things around my house myself. And on this channel, I hope to inspire you that if this ordinary mom with zero building experience, just learning along the way, can build simple things then you can too while using simple plans and simple tools and keeping things at a fraction of retail cost. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Okay, it looks like a lot of tools for such a simple project, but once you begin acquiring all these simple basic tools, you'll find yourself using them over and over and over again for all kinds of projects. Okay, let's talk lumber. Two one by fours at six feet and one one by two at six feet makes two three foot shelves. I'll be using my miter saw to cut my six foot boards in half, but you can ask your hardware store and they will cut them for you. Adding wood glue to what will be the back of our ledge. Using a clamp would make this part easier. Pre-drilling first and attaching one and a quarter inch screws. I started on the left and jumped to the right, pre-drilled and attached my one and a quarter inch screws, attaching five screws total. Now on to the front lip, wood glue first, using a nailer with one and a quarter inch nails. If you don't have a nail gun, a hammer and nails will work too. Now on to filling all the nail holes with wood filler. Slapping it on and smoothing it out with a putty knife goes on pink and dries the same color as wood. And once it dries, I start sanding. You would never see that there was a nail hole here. Sanding off rough edges and splinters. Wipe the boards free of dust and you're ready for paint. Use any paint you want. Here I'm just using leftover paint from a previous project. While those are drying, I'm emptying and removing the bookcase. Marking wall studs with a stud finder and chalk and using a level to attach the first ledge. Pre-drilling first and using one and a half inch wood screws. I space the ledges about a foot apart to accommodate larger books like this one and repeating the same steps, pre-drilling and attaching one and a half inch wood screws to the wall studs. Okay, last ledge is up and I'm all done. If you are planning to use these ledges for heavy items or things like fine china, then consider using pocket holds to create stronger joints. I do gravitate towards wood that has holes and knots, but if that's not your style, then just pick clean boards. You can paint or spray paint the screws white, but I didn't even bother since they're hidden by books. My six-year-old daughter is in love with her new open-faced book system. She says it's really easy to find her most favorite books. Does this seem like a doable and useful project? If this video was the slightest bit helpful, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Stop by and say hi. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this. I post a new one every week. Details are in the description box in case you missed anything. As always, if I can inspire just one person to pick up a drill, then these videos are worth it. Keep tackling those projects and we'll talk soon.